That belongs in a museum. Kevin Shirka here, the Indiana Jones nerd yet again, and today we're gonna do a little unboxing video. I got a custom-made fedora from Joshua at Careful Workshop Hatters, and I'm really excited to check this out and open this up. Joshua has uh, handcrafted this thing himself, and uh, it makes me so happy to see uh, Indiana Jones fans, uh, you know, making. Uh, that fedoras and artwork and all the other things that you guys do so i'm uh, really happy to uh, highlight this and thank you very much uh to josh and let's take a look here we have a nice little uh hand drawn uh, little logo there at the front very carefully uh packed to avoid damage Oh, this is a lovely little case here. Look at this. Oh, wow. This is... I'm excited just about the box. That's pretty slick. And there's that uh, logo. That's pretty cool. So you can see the little uh, logo at the top there. Same one he drew. That's a nice little sticker there. Alright, let's take a look at it. First, we'll take a look here. Some nice little patches came with it. That's awesome. Kevin, from one fan to another, I hope you enjoy this hat. When I was in high school, I rediscovered the Indiana Jones trilogy through John Williams' score, and I was deeply into his music as a kid. My first hat was, of course, one of the Dorfman Pacific hats that were sold at Disneyland. At a fall festival, I met a hatter who made all kinds of fur felt hats and I was immediately amazed at what magic steaming fur felt was. My friends and I made a fan film for our Spanish class and my first construction was taking a resistol cowboy hat and reshaping it on my mom's ironing board. It had a very tall crown and I couldn't seem to make the brim look right. In 2008 I was very excited to see Indy come back and curious to see what they were going to do with the character. I started listening to the indie cast. In the end, I think uh, what made Crystal Skull a disappointment was that it spent time explaining stuff about Indy's life in the interim period instead of just making a compelling story like the previous three. I did find another cowboy hat at a thrift shop and tried to make a new indie hat. However, living at the time in New York City, I found a great store that had a ton of vintage hats and I acquired a couple vintage hats which I still treasure to this day. Fast forward to 2019, I again rediscovered the beauty of the character and all the elements of the original trilogy. I bought an Akubra hat and I immediately loved it and then started modifying it. I just couldn't help myself. I scoured the world for reference books from the old days of hat making and then turned to the internet. I connected with Michelle from HJ and Brian Lalonde from Facebook and they were super supportive and they still are damn nice people towards me, uh, damn nice people towards me, uh, learning how to make, make a hat the right way. Which brings me to when you started making videos. I love your passion and the way you bring all the online discussions into a fan show that gives great information for the fan base without the negative energy of much of the other places on the internet. Keep it up. Let's chat soon. Josh. Careful workshop hatters. Wonderful. That's a beautiful little, uh, letter. Thank you so much, Josh. Thank you so much. Yeah, and... Thank you for those. That's, I wasn't expecting little things like that. And uh, now, and so, um, yeah, really, uh, uh, you know, heartwarming message. And uh, it makes me happy because uh, Josh, like myself, is someone who's really passionate about Indiana Jones and passionate about being creative. And it's really, really cool to see um, that I was able to get this hat from somebody who is, like, passionate about handcrafting it and it's his love of the character and the franchise a uh, bit like myself really cool and now comes the moment of truth here you can see the the hat i'm just gonna carefully kind of open this up man this is like this is a legit little oh beautiful oh my god Woo. look at that. My goodness.
this. Look at that. And there's the inside. Oh my god. Wow. Ooh. Dr. Jones. It's not the years, honey. It's the mileage. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I feel like I'm getting it sweaty already. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Josh, thank you so much for this hat. I'm definitely going to treasure this bad boy. Really wonderful stuff. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. I think it's it's got a good... Uh, I'm getting a good kind of Last Crusade vibe about it. Absolutely love it. So we're going to take a look at... Here's the back of it, and I'm going to spin it around here for you. And there's the front, side around the back. And here's uh, where the bow is right here. And once again, uh, the inside is just really slick. Really nice looking. Yeah, this is a really beautiful piece of work here. Big thank you to Josh. Wonderful, wonderful job here. He was sending pictures of uh, his process to me uh, over uh, over the last uh, few months here while he was uh, working on this and I'm, I've been looking forward to this a lot and I'm so happy to see it here uh, man I get to wear it it's wonderful so thank you so much once again Josh and for all of you at home uh, I definitely recommend careful workshop hatters so I'm going to put uh, some information so you can get in contact with Josh down below in the description of this video. So make sure you uh, give him a holler and uh, let him know what you want, what you're looking for, and you won't be disappointed. So thank you so much as always. Uh, do let me know uh, your uh, experience with fedoras down in the comments as well. Uh, let me know when you, where you got your fedora, what's your story, just as Josh told me his great story. I uh, can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks so much as always, and I wish you all fortune and glory. Bye-bye now.